The navigation pane appears on the left side of the Microsoft Access window. This pane contains links to all of the objects in the database. By default, objects are grouped by their types, such as a table, form, query, or report. However, Access allows us to group and view objects in many different ways and to search for objects based on their names. Before you begin working with your database, you want to familiarize yourself with the navigation pane and explore how you can use it to organize the objects in your database. By default, the navigation pane shows all of the objects in a database organized by type. Once you change how the pane presents your database objects, that change will be saved, so that next time you open the database, the navigation pane will retain your new settings. Let's take a look at some of the changes we can make. Here we're seeing all access objects in the database, organized by the object type category, such as tables, queries, and so on. This view works well for smaller databases. But if you have a database that consists of many objects, it is difficult to see what you want in this view. The Tables and Related Views category works better in that case. Notice that the heading on the navigation pane changed to All Tables to indicate what we are seeing. The Tables and Related Views category lists related objects together. For example, if you have a form that is used to enter data into a table, and report that shows data from that table. The table, form, and report will be listed in a category that is specified by the name of the table. All of the objects listed here are related to the customer's table. In addition to the tables and related views category, you can organize objects by the date that they were modified or by the date that they were created and you can create custom categories that contain the objects that you want. As well, you can filter by a particular group so that only the database objects in that group are visible. Let's filter our objects by the tables group. First, we need to get back to the object type category. Now we can see the group filters. Let's look at the tables group. Only the tables in our database are visible. Let's see what happens when we select the queries group. The navigation pane now shows only the queries in our database and has again changed the title at the top of the pane to reflect the objects we can see. If we want to view all of our database objects once again, it's a simple task to make them all visible. We can again see all of the objects in our database. The navigation pane offers additional versatility by allowing us to reduce the objects that are visible in the pane without actually changing the view. To reduce the clutter, we can hide object groups by clicking the group's title. The query objects are no longer visible in the navigation pane, even though the group is still available to us. To show the query objects again, we simply have to click the group name once more. Our query objects are once again visible. You can also hide the entire navigation pane if you need the extra space to view your database. The shutter bar open close button is in the upper right corner of the pane. You can use this button to collapse the navigation pane and expand the area you'll use to create tables and other database objects. This gives us a little more room to operate if we need it. Clicking the button again will open the navigation pane once more. You can also use the search bar in the navigation pane to see only the objects you want to work with. Let's search for all objects that contain order information.
As we begin typing the word order, notice that the list shortens. We found five objects in our database that have the word order in their names. Notice that all access objects is in the navigation pane heading. So if we cancel the search, we'll see all objects again. Click the clear search string button on the right end of the search bar to show all objects. The navigation pane gives you different ways to organize your database objects. You can view them by category or filter them so only one object type is visible. You can also search for objects by name. In addition, you can hide the navigation pane altogether. Don't be afraid to experiment until you find a view that works for you. Once you find that view, it will be available every time you open your database.